All right, welcome back, everyone. We are here on episode seven of Harada Bitter Breath's Adventures into Skyrim. So we had a uh, dark vision up here, which we'll quickly turn off, make everything a little bit sharper, right? Um, and we used up, yeah, we used up most of our, our magic out, right, to start the episode. So it's been, oh, it's been, you know, such, such a long day. We're here at the base. We, uh, yeah, I think we have all of our supplies, right? We have a couple of, uh, very, you know, rough, uh, damage health poisons here. Um, apparently we have a couple of them that are stolen, right? We'll hold on to some of these that are really good. Excuse me. And we, I think what we're going to do, right, is there anything here? Oh, look, there's, there's a great, wow, there was actually stuff in there. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, we're not going to take any of that, but we, <laughs> we'll take all that. And I think we're finally going to rest our head, right, in our bed, we'll sleep, right, we'll sleep, and uh, nothing strange at all will happen, right? Oh, what's this? <laughs> so we awaken. Feeling fuzzy. Sleep well. What? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? I guess that's true. You kn Oh, you, you know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. Problem? You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. You want me to murder someone else? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Uh, alright, I'll do it. I'll kill one of them. See, I knew we could resolve this civilly. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Okay, seems simple enough. Oh, oh my goodness. A lot of blood around here. All right, let's, let's, let's see. I'm, I'm walking around more interested in seeing like what's here. Hmm. Well, it's been a while since I've been in the, sh in the shack. Um, so let's see. Oh, who should we start with, right? Who, who looks the tastiest? Uh, we'll start with you. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Who are you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So... Can't you just let me go? Why would somebody pay to have you killed? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Answer me, or die. Please. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a soldier. I killed people <laughs> when I was ordered to. Maybe there was some times. Sometimes I got carried away. But war is war, right? Nobody could blame me for that. Could they? Maybe. Maybe. 
What did I do? Please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. Here, we're gonna do a quick, uh, quick little modification to our audio. Um, oh my god, the, the voice is already at maximum. Dang, okay. Um, then I think what we might do later is I'm gonna drop all of the other volumes down. We'll probably do it at the end of, uh, the end of today. Let's see. No, we can't pickpocket. Oh, okay, they don't. Here, hold on. Uh, yeah, they don't have anything. But we can poison. Well, no, we should be able to poison one even if she's watching us. I think we're we're gonna try that out, right? We're gonna test it out. Get these things off of me! Who are you? None of your damn business. Who I am? If you're going to kill me, just do it already. As Mara is my witness, if I didn't have this hood on right now, I would sit right in your face. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody pay to have you killed? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? One last time. Why would someone pay? I'm kneeling here with my hands bound and a sack over my head. And you have the gall to ask me that? What do you think, genius? I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here! Okay, it was probably the husband. Who are you? Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Who this? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Yeah, okay. Why would somebody pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Answer me, or I'll paint the room with your blood. Fool, don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. A knocked arrow on every rooftop. If one of my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Hmm, fair enough. Tell you what. You release me, and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Hmm. All right. So, we have three, three potential victims here. But who are we going to take out, right? Who should we poison? We'll do a quick save just because. I'm thinking... Hmm. It's a good question, right? Who are we gonna poison? Who are we gonna poison? <laughs> Normally we go with this guy, right? And I think Vasha is technically the correct answer. I didn't like her attitude. Let's poison her. Perfect. Look, that even lets us get in a, a sneak kill. Um, I don't know how much health she actually has, so we're going to place this and we're going to see if it kills her. Did it work? Like, this is one of the things I've been trying to figure out, is... Did, did it apply? Let's... We're... Right, okay, at this point we're just kind of testing it out, like... No, it doesn't appear to be doing that. That appears to be, like, some sort of bug, I guess, that it isn't allowing us to to kill these people with poison. Okay, fair enough. That's why we did a quick save. Because sometimes weird things can happen like that. So, and I didn't want to waste my remarkable poison. So, I guess we'll just have to go with the dagger, right? There we go. <laughs> Always good to get that sneak damage, right? Let's see. We could take the, uh, what is it? An executioner's hood if we really wanted to. But we'll mostly take the meat. <laughs> Do we want to kill anybody else? Um, 
Come now. Whatever the problem. No, they have nothing else to say. Like we'll go with her. Hmm? I mean, we have enough meat, so. Ah, the feisty good wife. Quite the mouth on her. Someone must have wanted her dead. Right. Um. Yeah, who was it? Who had the contract? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. So, I'm free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. Oh, I'm not looking in to get married. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. Hmm. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Okay. But I'm not gonna make home-cooked meals. That's not what we do. So let's see. Let's take a little look around here, right? Oh, empty, ch empty chest. Oh, okay. And, hey, some lavender. Okay. Take some of that. I don't think there's anything else good kicking around here, right? I mean, it's 1.30 in the morning. And uh, I do appreciate the fact that they put a bed in here. Because we will probably scavenge a little bit of firewood here. We do need it, right? I hate cutting up firewood. It's such a pain in the butt. So anytime we have the opportunity to scavenge it, it's wonderful. So um, I am like 99% sure that we will die if we attempt to go out there in the, uh, what is it, at night. So we're just going to sleep here, right? Sleep the night. I don't know if anybody else will be here. Yeah, they're all still here, but that's fine. So we're feeling well rested, right? We're, we're ready to go. Excellent. Here, we'll just uh, have them for breakfast, drink some water. All right, we're doing good. We're all set. And we're almost level 15 too, even better. Oh, it's raining. What was that? Hmm, thought I heard something. You want to be a little bit careful. Anything in these that we might be able to utilize as we're running around here? No. So, part of me wants to look at the map, but I think the other part of me is like, no, we, we, we came out here. We don't know where we are. So we're just gonna have to try and find our way back, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna look around. That looks like solitude right there, right? If I were to take a guess. Yes, I was correct, which means that Morthal is back down that way. So we were able to identify like a rough cue to figure out where we are. Uh, maybe we should head to solitude instead of Morthal. Just because I don't, I think we'll be safer uh, crossing like over to this island than more, more safe than we would attempting to go through the swamp in the rain to Morthal. What's that? Is that a wolf or? I'm trying to be mindful here. Any enemies. Oh, we got some mud crabs. What? Is it just the mud crab? Yeah, it's just the mud crab. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, we're swimming. I don't know what that was, but it was spitting venom. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, all right, and we drag ourselves up. Okay, come on. Drag ourselves up. 
Or apparently we can't. There we go. We, dra we managed to drag ourselves up. We're cold. We're wet. We're miserable. There's nobody here. It's a potion of restore health, though, which is pretty good. I see a fire over there. We don't have any stamina, though. We're completely out of stamina. You know why? Because our food buff ran out. Uh, let's quickly go for... Hmm... How about... What was one of the... No, we don't have any, like, weaker things. I guess we'll just eat one of these, right? These, uh... I, I was kind of saving... No, we'll, eat, we'll just eat some of this. So we don't know if those are friend or foe. And it's good to kind of restore some stamina. We can probably take one of our weak, uh... Our crude stamina regen here, just to... Just to pick it up a little bit. Because we could f hypothetically freeze to death here. We don't know whose camp this is. Some potato soup. And we're definitely not going to dry off just kind of sitting here, but... Alright, so here's a guard. Right? Excellent. What is it? Nice. So it looks like... Looks like we're in a safe place. Oh. That's good. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands. Hello again. Let's see here. Now there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we found the sawmill. Consider adoption. Wanted a good home. Blah, blah, blah. If you could provide a stable home for one of these innocent children, please consider adoption. Hmm. Chat recommends fattening up your new adoptee, right? I mean, I guess we could get into farming, right? We've always, you know, we've always thought about being a farmer. You know, this the simple life, right? Raising children. You know, instead of having to go out for our own kills, we could just raise children. That sounds nice. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll, uh, we'll explore. Oh, well, let's, yeah, let's, um... Anybody home? No, no answer. So I don't think we'll really be able to go inside, and there's gonna be nothing here. So what we'll do is we are going to continue up the path to solitude. We're mostly safe now. We're on the roads, right? So we, we found our way to safety. And uh, there's definitely going to be nothing here to steal, unless we, like, kill a chicken and skin it. So we'll head up to Solitude and spend time adventuring there. What's back up here? This looks like a... Uh... Oh, yeah, this that's the way up into town. Excellent. Oh, all the thistles. Give me the thistles. Oh, we could steal another horse. That sounds like a good plan, right? Hmm. Anything cool around here? Let's see, what do you got? What do you got? Raw beef? I already took a bunch of garlic. Uh, da da da, don't mind me. Or a knapsack. Knapsacks always have good things in them. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Okay. Holy cow. Um. Look, we're even warming up, too. Go in here. See what's in the stables. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not... Let me know. I might have it stored away. Well, thank you. Well, let's see what we got here. Hmm. That's a little bit too low. It's 75%. I don't really want to get kicked out yet. Yeah, he's just enjoying lunch. So, hey, how, how are you doing, right? We as we're making making friendly conversation as we're just kind of helping ourselves to the to the herbs. 
A nice place you got here. Hmm. I have a lot of food. Oh, is there a post in the way? Vet. Oh, this is the vendor chest. <laughs> oh my goodness. Filter by value. Nurn spring tea, 150 gold. Yeah, we'll take all those. We'll take some hot honey porker, some chorus pie. Okay. Don't mind if we do. Thank you very much. I don't think there's any anything really in those. Uh, well, quick. Oh my goodness, steel. Yeah, those aren't. Hey, there we go. Silver. Let's see if I can target them properly. There we go. And we'll just kind of. Oh, master. Nice. Definitely not getting into that. All right, I think it's time to go. Unless, nope, you can see it. Hey, we're just, you know, looking around, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening in the, the wonderful city of solitude, right? It's probably an incredibly prosperous, wonderful city. They can't hurt Uncle Rob here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. Traitor! Get on with it! Your uncle is a scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Atmar. They're all hard to do. Rogmere, <laughs> you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Oh, Liar! Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo! One of the things I discovered is that if if you run up I there, you'll actually like God. interrupt the ceremony and they'll attack you. And then this will happen. But to you. <laughs> wah, wah. Amulet of Talos? Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna touch that. It's a quest item. Some gate guard you are. <laughs> All right, hey look, it stopped raining too. It's it's like the gods bless solitude once they uh, they chop this head off, isn't that nice? So what we'll do, what are we gonna do first, right? We, uh, we need to find the thieves hideout and I kind of have a feeling, oh my goodness. So there's just like a bunch of mead we can kind of steal from here. What the heck? We can all just take this. This isn't marked as stolen. Great, okay. I'm definitely not complaining about that. Uh, let's let's go into the inn to sell this mead that we found. Oh, we have a few other items that we can sell in there as well. So that's a good way to start, right? Yeah. It It is here. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. I looked over at this area and I was like, it's gotta be here somewhere. Very nice. So let's take a look at our uh, at our buffs, right? How how are all of our buffs doing? We're, uh, we're slightly dirty, but we're okay, right? We still have on our hood that gives us the uh, haggling boost there. So let's see if we can find a fence that we can sell some of our stolen, oh my goodness. It's like a full blown setup down here. This is better than the, uh, oh, she's part of the Dark Brotherhood too. something I can do for you? Uh, pay for some advice on enchanting? Wow, so, that, oh my goodness. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I am blown away. 
Right? All the spells and stuff. See you around. Yeah, we can't take any of that, but need something. No, uh, I can't All trade right, them. Man. Good morning. Wow, yeah, look at uh, oh, oh well is are we are they willing to buy anything? Um I don't know what happened to the the drinks that we stole. Are they still in my inventory here? They are. It's just for some reason they won't buy them. I guess oh, we'll I have know. to sell them to like a general merchant, hmm. right? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Wow, like full, you know, full alchemy. We'll we'll come back through here and buy different stuff soon. Um it looks like they're kind of reasonably priced too. Uh, are they willing to buy any of like our our stolen goods? It it doesn't look like they're willing to buy any stolen items, so I think that's a bug. But until next time, we're also probably going to sell all of our gems here because within this hole, gems are worth a lot more. Hmm. Oh yeah, here's like the sleeping quarters. This place is amazing. We need to spend more time in solitude. We, uh, what do you Got have? To... Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of a deal we can Ooh, make. Ooh, that's way too expensive, right? Zorb's Magica. Uh, fortify sneak and invisibility. Spew. Yeah. yeah, they're like a general merchant, but okay, there we go. He's willing to accept stolen goods. That's better, right? We, uh, we're we gonna look around a little bit first to see who else we can sell to. Cause like this thing, this thing is definitely gonna be worth selling. Till next time. Where's our jeweler, right? I, th I think this might yes. be a jeweler, I'm not sure. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty Good much Lord, anything. You can even place needs. crafting orders. It's amazing. Um, you know, we could probably purchase a hunting knife. Minor uh, alchemy, interesting. Like an alchemy piece of equipment there. No, we can't seem to sell any of our stolen goods here. Until next time. This one needs something? A guard, there's a guard That's down here. <laughs> uh, uh, She's a vampire too. Okay, we know better than to mess with her. Um, well, there's a big map of Skyrim here. This is, this place is so cool. Come on, can we? Eh. It's not letting me take it. That's okay. Come back to it. We'll continue our exploration. This place is huge, right? That's back up into Skyrim. Yeah, I am super impressed. Right? But, uh, here, we'll, we'll harvest a couple of these. Oh no, we're over encumbered, so we're gonna have to sell something before we leave. Here, let's go up and craft some stuff. Oh! You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. Oh, really? You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? I love easy gold. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Um, so what's the offer? With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. Uh... So you want me to put out the, light, the lighthouse fire, right? interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. 
Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Uh, yeah, what'll happen to the sailors on board? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Nice. Sounds good. I knew you looked like a clever one. Alright. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Great. So, the, uh, here, we'll grab a couple of these. The next task we're about to go do, can we go up there, this way? Oh, look, there is a, a shortcut now. That's helpful. We are going to take the silver that we have, and this is the reason that we threw a perk into it, and craft some stuff. Right? So we're going to craft some silver necklaces, and now we can sell those legitimately. Because they are no longer stolen. We'll keep the more expensive gems, right? Like the emeralds and... Ah, screw it. <laughs> Here we go. We sold all of our gems. Thank the gods for the end of yet another pointless conversation. Yeah, well, have a good day. Thank you. We probably should have done like a price comparison, but I don't know. I'm happy to sell all my gems. The, uh, because we're, we're definitely selling them in the right place, right? Like, guaranteeably. Where else can we go around here? Uh, I don't know. Let's let's wander around for a little bit. Fresh fish. What do you want? Yet another caravan from Harrogate has been ambushed. Oh, there we go. Gold. Gold's always appreciated. Nice and onyx. Hmm. They're all so busy with uh with their work that they don't noticing we're we're robbing them blind. What is that? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take that. We'll sell it, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and now we're officially over and covered. Again, okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna get rid of the scaled helm. And uh, are there any books here worth taking? Not really. The bull. Can we take the bull without being over encumbered here? So, so anything that we can sell legitimately, right? Like when we take these, the bulls and the goblets, they're not worth enough to mark them as stolen. And that is really valuable because we can sell them at like full price. How's our weight doing, though? We are, like, barely overweight, so we need to... <gasps> oh my goodness! Three flawless diamonds? Holy cow! Humana, 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 humana. We will get rid of... Which of these is, like, the heaviest, right? Mm. Let's get rid of some of our torches here. And that should... Yep, there we go. All right. Time to go. Wow. Look, I'm like running into stuff. Oh, we're, we're totally unsuspicious. We just jump from the balcony and run. Wow. We just managed to secure... Three flawless diamonds. Holy cow. We're gonna take all your butterflies too. And we're <laughs> we became over encumbered taking the butterflies. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna need to drop something. We'll eat the, the rabbit leg, and there we go, now we can move. Alright. Let's I don't know. Let's go find a safe place that we can put some of our stolen goods in case we're uh, we're caught in our other adventures here. Yes, hello. Um, 
Just wanted to back up a little bit. Alright, so we're back at Catless Farm, and we need to find a place where we can stash a horde without them noticing, right? Like, like a barrel in the back, or just, just some place they're not gonna notice that, like, there's a big pile of goods that they don't own. Take those. But I'm not really seeing anything, unless maybe there's, like, something inside the mill area. No. How about this barrel right here, right? We can we can stay hidden while we put everything in it. I don't think anybody's gonna notice that this barrel is filled with a ridiculous number of ingredients. I think this is the temple, right? Let's see if there's anything in the Temple of the Divines. The Emperor's cousin Vittoria Vici is getting married soon. The reception will be public. Anyone in solitude can attend. That's fun. I actually haven't been in here in like a long time. We could take a divine's blessing, right? Xenathar, I don't know who this was. Kinnereth, Debella, Akatosh, Julianos. I guess if we were to follow one, it would be Debella, but Remind us of our place. I don't know. Oh, this that's master level. Definitely can't get into there. Too bad. Too bad. May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily hmm. I don't know if we're going to find any valuables at all in a temple, but yeah, well, you never know, right? I mean, People make big donations. Oh. Interesting. What is this? Let's see if we can't find the key to get into there. Now I'm curious. Where was, uh... Oh, it's gonna be tough, you though. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? <laughs> They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Have you ever wondered? What if there is no Sovereign Guard? What if, when we die, we just... Wow, okay. I'm more annoyed that she's uh, there in the way preventing me from... Oh, wow. Like, Divine's ropes, it's kinda cool. We don't follow the Divine's, so we don't care. But we do like gold, so. Yes, we got a little bit of amber out of it. No, no. <laughs> We're trying to be quiet here, but you know, it's not working too well. All right, so we grabbed some silver. Oh, we got, look at the size of this platter. How are we doing on weight? We can carry like, Five more weight. Goblets. Thank you very much. I'm telling you, I heard it. How Anything up on this side though? Any silver. Oh, we got more silver. But we do have to be a little bit more careful here because we're about, we're really close to being over encumbered. Oh, oh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Headed back in. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it wasn't done stealing. Oh, look at this. Look, we can take them directly from the, uh, from inside there. We have to check the, the cupboards here. Whoa. <laughs> All right, now we might have a problem. There's a lot of silver here. There's a lot of silver here, chat. I was not expecting this much silver in the cupboards. Oh my goodness. 
we are going to have to find something to drop off. Alright, alright, we're back. Come back to our secret little stash here, hidden in the back. With all of our ingredients, the big old pile of ingredients, so many ingredients. It's ridiculous. And the other thing that we're gonna do, and like I, I, I say from like a role playing perspective, we don't put these in the barrel, we kind of like bury them in the ground, because then like nobody would ever find them, right? Like you, you bury your gems. Right, so all the stolen gems we put in there. Um, it looks like we weren't able to sell these, so we're just gonna put them in there too, right? Some of the other stolen items. And we're down to 110 out of 160 carry weight, so we're doing way better. Uh, we'll probably drop off a couple of our stolen things here just to make, oh my goodness. They're like, they're all stolen. They're all marked as stolen every single Spider Venom that we have is stolen. Every single one. So I want to be really careful because if we're ever, like, stopped, we're going to lose all of them. And that would be absolutely heartbreaking. So we're going to be a little bit more strategic about all of our, our potions, like, there, like that. So we're doing much better. We, I think we're gonna end the episode right here. We, uh, it's, it's like 5.30 in game. Uh, we need to get more water skins because we dropped those off, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, we got rid of our water skins to kind of drop our carry weight down. But we have accepted a new quest called Lights Out. This is going to be our new primary quest while we're out here. We're gonna put out the Solitude Light. You have to do that, you know, at night. Otherwise, they're not going to crash because they can see where they're going in the daytime. You have to do that at night. So what we'll do is we'll wait until dusk. We'll steal a horse. We'll ride up there. We'll put out the light. And then we'll work on that quest. And that is going to be the next episode. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye.